It's a match to round two at the Condor Sevens. It's St Peter's playing from left to right in red, and they're up against Aurora College, who featured earlier this morning. Didn't get a lot of ball against Boyce High. They might get just a wee bit more from St Peter's, but we'll have to wait and see. It's the start. So there's a big collision and run and a turnover already. A chance for early points for St Peter's. And it was a good chase and a good support play from Waller. But, uh, a little knock on. It looks like a penalty. I can't help you as to why. The net result is maybe the tackle was just a little bit too aggressive and with no arms. And we'll move back to the action. A little run from Fox, uh, from Gatteridge, from Aurora, into the 10 metre mark, and a floaty pass across to Nicholson. He keeps the ball. A chance of a turnover. Yes, it's come St Peter's way. I'm trying to keep it from the defenders' clutches. Successfully so at the moment with Lloyd making the run and then the pass on the outside to Nataro and he'll be too quick, too strong and far too elusive for the last remaining two defenders in the Fijian scores for St Peter's. Makes it 7-0, to nil. St Peter's in the lead. So the restart off the boot of Lloyd. And uh, some position for Brett from Aurora. He goes to the ground safely enough and gets his ball between the defender. And not a lot of room to work with out wide. Ball still available for Aurora. Another touch for Brett. He's doing some of the hard graft, sucking in some of the defenders. Over the top of the tackle. Tarangi still in with the ball on the ground. And then a knock on under no particular pressure. And this is big trouble because Tonga, with that kind of space and time, gets there. And make sure he places it under the crossbar. Got the instruction from the coaches to make the kicks easy. We'll make it 14 nil in the early stages. Restart, but nobody was ready. Players in front anyway, so... Could count against St Peter's as Aurora come up to the halfway. Tap and go. Chance for Hadamati Kirigiri to have a run, but ball lost. And those ball control skills have yeah, cost them dearly in the first game and similarly in the second. And Tonga shows a little skip step. In fact, on that occasion it was... Uh, it was uh, Collins, and they've just cutting him apart. When they get it to the man Tonga, he's just got too much guile and certainly too much strength. Another try, another conversion, and in sets of seven, St Peter's lead by 21 to nil. Flat kick, deep inside the 22, chased back by Nicholson, and. Uh, They'll be looking for a help and gets it, but unfortunately it's in a red jersey. And this uh, Blake Lloyd says thank you very much indeed. He intercepts the pass, it scores by the posts. Interceptions do the same here. As they make it four tries, four conversions, and 28 to nil before you've blinked. Restart over the head of Brett. The players have come back in a flat line, so this time they've got some options. What a difference it made to the oh, with the ball in hand. It's uh, Tarangi on the deck, but kept it alive. And now, despite having a lack of space, have certainly got enough players there to help out. Tackling just a shade too high against in the Taro. So, tap taken. And Kalvaravai well on the ground. Players off their feet. 
common law to both sevens and fifteens. The run from Gatteridge gets to the ten metre mark. Support. Karamati Karakiri on the ground. The ball is slow to come and demanded by the St. Peter's backs and they just thrive on this kind of ball. Put a tabu. He will saunter over. They're not missing out on the tries nor the conversions and at the half-time break in this match it's 35 points to nil. St. Peter's over Aurora. Second half and it's St. Peter's with a 35 point lead taking first position from the kickoff. And they've been impressive, uh, the boys in red. Lots of attacking options, lots of guys with power out wide. And the tackling just brushed off on that occasion. But a tabu and Tonga combining often and again near then. But a tabu back to Tonga. Spreading it wide. Lloyd. They've got height, they've got pace, they've got power, and they use all of it. And that's the net result is yet another try. And they are just running right at the moment. They have to allow for the fatigue factor, and it's a good catch in the end by Brett. He had to take it over the head of his fellow player. They're looking for holes, but trying to force the pass. And this is some position for the quick guys like Tonga. He's flat footed, so just goes back to Lloyd. And Lloyd again receiving the ball. Spot tackle there, effective on Collins. So maybe a chance of a turnover. Not just yet. More defending to be done by Aurora. Tonga sets sail yet again from 60 metres out. He'll scamper away. The chase will be to no avail. But at least it was courageous one from Jerome Wallach. He wasn't prepared to just let Tonga score without some contest. That conversion on target. Although some of these early games are a little lopsided on the scoreboard, you can see some great contests coming up later on in our Condor 7s playoff matches. And that's again power from Brett. Probably the standout for Aurora College in terms of getting them some possession. Question is, can they do any damage with it? They're just losing those passes in the tackle. Dribbling forward. So St Peter's scrum. Ball cleared by Collins. Cross from Collins. And really, they've just got so many choices, St Peter's, when it comes to finishing it off. They just make no mistakes. And perhaps the most emphatic display of the afternoon so far, and there's been some good ones prior. So, Aurora looking for their first points of the tournament in two games. They've been very close. They're going to get a tap from halfway to mount a challenge as time is ticking away on them. And uh, they put in a good effort, so I'd like to see them score some points today. Keep up their uh, morale. They can contest at this level at sevens. It's learning the game. It's not easy. It's some classy sides who have some pretty experienced footballers by school standards. Mm. St Peter's using that tried and true formula of sevens of just dropping back in a line and looking at your options before having to commit. And the chase here is good too. And there's no way that uh, Sam Howard's going to go over on his own. Well done to Aurora too for not giving up when things looked forlorn. The try comes anyway. That becomes seven. 
and at the end of the game the biggest victory so far of the tournament see st peter's run out the winners by 59 to nil